What's going on guys, we are back here with a new review for 2023 Plates and Patches. This is a double box review. You guys like these? You want to see more? Drop a like, subscribe, it's free. It'll help us do more self white 2 box reviews. You can also enter our giveaway by doing those steps. So we have NFL kickoff giveaway, 2021 Mosaic, t Laws rookie year. Just like, sub, and then comment on the flawless opening. A link's down below in the description to enter to win uh, this box. YouTube only, best of luck. So two boxes, and this is a product I used to really love. So got two... We haven't gotten a few years. I'm not too sure if it's still that product that I know and love, but let's find out. So here is the information. SRP is 130, resale is about 300. You get five cards per pack, one pack per box, 12 box cases, two autographs, one memorabilia card, and one parallel or insert in every single box. So here's what you can find. There's the side of the box. And now for the back, which has all the stuff you can find. So look for parallels. For the metal, there's arcade mode to 25. There is lava drip to seven, flash graffiti to five, and red, white, and blue one of ones. Regular, the platinum one of one, red to five, and green to 25 are the main parallels. Inserts. Case hits are American metal and nuclear, which is one that I really like. And this may sound familiar, and there's a reason why. So autographs, on card steel signatures, there's a metal moments, RPAs, various sets there. Memorabilia, prime, super prime. The sets aren't too important, probably not associated. Uh, update cards, and that is it. So this may sound very familiar. The theme itself, when we see them, might seem like something you know. And the reason why is this is pretty much Elements Football, which was all right. Didn't love it, didn't hate it, but Plates and Patches is one that when I first started having the money to buy hobby boxes, I really liked this set. And I'll tell you guys why in a second, comparing the output in every single box, but go like that. There we are. So the box is similar. Are the cards similar? So there we go. There we are. And let's open up our one pack. When I first heard this was releasing, I was very excited, although it was dropping very early in the collecting year, which is suspect to me. Why so early? That's because it is elements now. And I'm not too sure if I have this the right way or not. I'm going to just go like this. We'll use the box to reveal the cards. And here's the first card up. If I have it in the wrong order, I will swap it. But here we go. First card up. Can I focus on this card first? It's Giants. It is Dexter Lawrence. I actually like the way these look. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Okay. So I had some unhappy thoughts to share which I still have, but that is nice. I do like that card and not numbered, so let's leave it, but there we go. Card one, 55 point stock. Next one up. But you guys like these and you want to see more, drop a like, subscribe, enter our giveaway by doing that. And also sign up for membership, get some bonus content. I think this is like this. Let's see our first card, it's thick. Double coverage. Jalen Hyatt, I pulled a lot of him. The Giants, I'm a Giants fan, got humiliated. Um, yeah, not good. Definitely not good. Not the best football day for me, but... And I hope I don't jinx us, but... I don't think it can get that much worse. Getting destroyed like that. In front of the whole world. Yeah, not great. So, 50 of 50. There we go. Uh, hmm. But, still nice. Didn't really do much like the rest of the team, I guess, in our game, but we will be back, I hope. Here's the next card up. All right. So this used to come with a guaranteed printing plate, which was awesome. And here's our first autograph. Jamal Williams sticker. If I remember correctly, there was a decent amount of on-card autographs in this set the best one i ever pulled was drew Brees green so that was awesome from 2016 i think it was somewhere around there i mean pictures are nice but yeah this looks similar but the metal stuff is definitely elements themed and getting the guaranteed one of one printing plate from a collecting standpoint was awesome because i didn't really have any one of ones so even if it's a plate that was a cool bonus Hence the plates and patches. Now it's, I guess, metal 
and unassociated patches. So here is the next card. Upside down. We have uh, Jaron Hall. Okay. Nothing insane. So far, it's uh, not looking too great. We still have the metal card, which maybe it's a case hit or something like that. We need it to be a case hit. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, these look nice. I wish on card in their jerseys is nice. Two of 149, but um, yeah, here's the metal card. And not having a one of one. I mean, these are not plates. The plates were, were fun. You never know. Could be any set. Now it's just one of a few different sets. All right, let's see what this is. Three, two, one. Yeah. 35 of 35. Pacheco, I mean. That was far from getting my money back. Far from it. We do have two boxes. Maybe this is the worst in the case. If it wasn't, then whoever bought the other boxes from this case, I mean, we'll cry together. But, ouch. That is not $300. I can tell you that much. Next box. That's why we have two. I'm definitely worried. So, not saying this product was incredibly juicy. Like, big hits left and right. Back when I used to open it. But, I really did enjoy it. The plates were just a fun part of the product. A lot of nice stuff and you can still get nice stuff but i mean this just some parallel metal card that's elements wasn't very popular that product the printing plates which collectors don't love but i think are cool like the hobby itself isn't obsessed with plates but from a box get a one-on-one -on -one plate from some random set who knows maybe nt i thought that was cool actually we'll keep this here so all right here's box number two that first one Definitely uh, rained on our parade a little bit. And we'll go like this, I think. Okay, let's see what we see. Card number one. And also, if you guys like uh, group breaks, we'll have some tonight for... I do like the base. For Bowman Chrome Baseball, my first ever baseball breaks. Links down below on my whatnot, 8 p.m. Eastern today and tomorrow. So head over there if you're interested. Should be some of our cheaper breaks we've run yet. And a lot of cool stuff. Just did a review of that product yesterday. So, all right. I guess we can vote for the best of hopefully not the worst, but it's certainly looking like that. Here is the uh, the patch. Can we get associated? That's all I need. All I need It is. I'll take that. 18 of 50. What's 8 minus 1? I don't know. You guys tell me. Uh, to 50. 1, 2, 3 color patch. Sweet. Double patch. Um, hey, we'll take the wins where we can get them. Even if they're smaller wins. Nice one. Had a nice debut. And there we go. Bijan. Cool. That probably beats any card from that box already. Right? Okay. Not the greatest sign for the product for our mem card to be the leading one is this a redemption it is a redemption i need someone lucky hmm let's see our lucky card will be from our bad box you know what i see you you will bring us good luck all right here we go can we get something big i don't even know who's a redemption I know who's not in the set and not redemption but okay 42 Deuce Vaughn I'll take that very impressive so far Deuce Vaughn gold let's see uh, where are the RPAs on here because I did not write down here we go Okay, so actually in this product, gold's not that good. RPAs, you see gold here and platinum from 149 to 1. So gold being on the far left is to 149 probably, something like that. So, all right, that was, you know, is what it is. All right, let's see our next cards. I got real excited for that gold, but Panini does not stay consistent with those parallels. 
Okay, next card up. But yeah, so, uh, you guys like these two box reviews? Maybe one's the best, one's the worst? Let me know, we'll do some more. I really like that. I wish it was on card. Luke Keekley. One of my favorites to watch, period. Absolute stud. It was at Thanksgiving where he went nuts. And then, like, the next day, I think he had a Madden card that came out for, like, Team of the Week or something like that and had to have it. Ooh. I mean, this box is far from this box. That's why I like two-box reviews. Can't do them all the time. They are expensive. To pay $300 once isn't great. To pay it twice is even less than ideal. But um, this one's been solid so far. And here's the metal card. So I'll try to do more. Keep showing support. We'll do some more when possible. Can't do flawless, but maybe play some patches. Yeah. Okay. Final card. Here we go. It is three, two, one. Justin Jefferson to 25. I like that. 11 to 25. That is the, uh, no, not graffiti, it is arcade mode. I'll kind of see it, okay. I mean, that was night and day. Night and day. That being said, this box was just solid. This one was pretty bad. Here's a recap. So, what are your thoughts on the product? Comment down below. In my opinion, we want the old plates and patches back. What happened to the product I love? Serious question. I mean, man, that, that hurts. I mean, this box, oh boy. I guess this one's the best one by default. And that's PC bias too. Then we have this box. Nice Justin Jefferson. I like that. Um, this one probably is my favorite from the box. Luke Keekly, And kept it all in sticker. Atta boy. Deuce Vaughn. Bijan. All right. And Swift. I mean, four highlights from this one. And then one highlight from this one. I mean, it's a blowout. It's a blowout. So, I mean, cash your votes. Box one or box two. And uh, yeah, plates and patches. This used to be one of the coolest products, in my opinion. It's taken a big step back. And um, there's still on-card autographs, but we didn't get any, unfortunately. So what do you guys think? Plates and patches, do you like it? It really is just elements. They can't fool us. I mean, it's clear. It's evident. But here is my rating for this product. And it hurts. I mean, it really hurts. But I'm giving it a 4 out of 10. That's below average. Not doing it for me. I might even say like 3.5, honestly. I really love the nuclear case hit and the American flag one is really cool. I don't think there's many cards like that. So very nice case hits. Uh, there are some cooler cards to pull. And um, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts. I think the price should go down a little bit. But uh, yeah, I really wish we had the real plays and patches, which would be definitely higher rated. So there we go. Does it for our review. You guys like more? Stay tuned. Flawless football. Should be next, I think. And some other very exciting stuff. So stay tuned. Enter our giveaway. But when breaks tonight. Hope to see you there. And does it for our video, guys. Thank you as always for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, I'll see you later.